Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, let's unbox the NanoPyte R6S and see what we have inside. So this is the R6S in the metal case. So let me just open it up so that we can see what is going on. Alright. Let's take it out. Okay, so we can see that this router looks very similar to the R5S except for the hardware. Beside the SBC, we also have a thermal pay. I'm not sure if it is correct. It looks like some kind of uh, rubber feet so that you can put it down right here. One, two, three, four, uh, six pieces. The NanoPies R6 as a powered by the Rockchip RK35 IAS SOC in a dual cluster platform, which means you will have a quad core A76 and a quad core A75 CPU. Also, the R6 ads come with 8GB of DDR4 RAM and 32GB of eMMC storage. It also have NPU which support up to 60 OPS and uh, GPUs that support up to 8K encoding and decoding. For the network port, we still have uh, two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port which can be used for LAN 1 and 1. And this LAN 2 port is a gigabit. Alright, so next to it we have the HDMI port for video output and the USB Type-C connector to power on the board. This spare hole is for the external wireless antennas. On this side, we have the reset buttons as usual. On the top face, we have a system one, LAN one and LAN two LED status. For the USB port, we have USB two point zero and the USB three point zero. And on this side, we have the mask button to turn the device into the mushroom mode for recovery or firmware installation as well as the micro SD card slot just right here. So now let me remove the back cover so that we can see what is inside. Alright, so... Now they attract two small screws to hold the board. Actually, we have four. To take out the PCB, you just need to gently push down the USB port and then the PCB will be for out. All right. Be gentle and not to damage the PCB inside. Alright, so this is a metal casing. Uh, it was made from CNC machine for sure, and we can see that it had a massive heat sink right here, so that all this heat can dispense to this casing. Alright, so this is the PCB. Let me remove the thermal pay so that we can see what is going on. The first thing you can see is the rock chip LC. And it state that Rockchip RK35 AAS. So this is the one in the middle. Next we have two 4 GB GDR4 RAM. I'm not sure who is the manufacturers of this uh, RAM module, but it looks like uh, it is Samsung. Uh, we need to verify that. And then you will see the power management chip from Rockchip which is very similar to the NanoPies R5S as we can see previously and then the same time for the Ethernet controllers of the two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port we have the RTL's A215B and this one is the gigabit Ethernet which is the Rautech RTL A211F Alright, so I think the rest is very similar to the previous ball, but another new thing is that we have this uh, IR receiver right here. We also have a 32GB of eMMC storage just right here. 
let me see so yeah the manufacturer for this EMMC A4 series all right so very typical design from nano pines or from friendly elect and we can see that the build quality is really good so right here we do have the urat header one two three pins but it will not solder this one right here should be a real-time clock connector just in case you want to power on the real-time clock to save the day the time and some other setting all right so that is all about the pcb insides and now let me just put everything together so that we can power on the nanopi r6 set and see what is the OS that we're pre-installed and I'm pretty sure that it will be friendly WRT.